today? Great! Are we all excited about being here? I am so excited to see each and every one of you guys' faces. I want to start off by thanking each and every one of you for coming out and spending your wonderful Saturday with me, okay? Um, if you guys want to hang up your coats, there is a coat rack. I think that's probably something you might want to do unless you're going to put everything on the stool. Um, but the coat rack is right outside of the, right outside in the hallway. If you want to hang up your coats, ladies with us that have purses, we want to keep it close. We can keep it right there on the stool so we can keep an eye on it. We trust everybody, but nobody at all. We understand? <laughs> exactly. It should be two people at each bowl, okay? You should see where there should be two aprons and a towel. We're going to start off by putting them aprons on so we can start feeling a little bit more professional. I don't want you guys to mess up all your nice, pretty outfits. First one with these lights, I can't see. <laughs> Everybody got the aprons on. Everybody got these little nice little towels. We're just gonna take a nice little, we're gonna fold them quarter. And I'm gonna show you how we do this. You're gonna find a lot of us who ever worked in a restaurant. Anybody worked in a restaurant before? Yeah, oh, okay. So y'all know about side towels, huh? Okay. So that's what we're doing. You wanna make sure you have that handy. Because today we are going to be making pasta. Yes. All right, are we set? Are we ready? Oh, okay, there y'all go. Let me put it back in. All right, so let's get started, you guys. Let's make pasta. Everybody take their flour. I'm gonna let y'all use the bowl. Oh, you wanna, you wanna get, get all nice and mmm. I get it. Let's pour that right in the bowl. Let's get it right in the bowl. Y'all got it in the bowl? Once you get it in the bowl, you wanna kinda make a nice little well. You wanna keep like pushing all your flour to the side of your bowl. You wanna be able to see like the bottom of your, the bottom of the bowl. You wanna kinda push all of it to the side. Yep. All right, now while the one person is taking out, we wanna take that egg. Put it right in the middle. <laughs> no, I'm not showing over there. Okay, you guys have that oil. You just want to pour a little bit of that oil in there. So just, just like a eh, kind of just go uh, to it. Okay, just a little. There it go. That's enough. He got the plan. Just, just a little bit. That's. That's it, you gotta do it. I didn't hear enough us going in there. Ugh. That's it, that's the us. It, it has an O on the container. And then you should have your water. We're not gonna pour it in yet. We just need you to have it close. Cause once it starts, it gets started. <laughs> we hope so. This, this right here, the one in the squeeze bottle. You put it in a different one? Yeah, that says oil. Oh, oh. <laughs> the shade. <laughs> okay, so that's white wine. So it's gonna be nice and uh, nice and tasty, okay? That's not white wine. That's not white, that's oil? So you got oil. Do you guys have oil? Yours was white wine, okay. You want to put the oil in, all righty? You want to take that whisk and you want to kind of wix up that egg and a little bit of the oil. Kind of mix it together. 
You might get a little bit of that flour that get added into that. That's okay. Okay. Oh, I had to, that's it. <laughs> okay. You guys got it in to kind of like whisking together? Okay, so you want to start kind of incorporating some of that flour to that. Okay? So I'm going to like kind of grab some from the sides. Okay? Once you get it mixed in, you want to kind of use some of your water to kind of help. Okay, at one point, once you kind of get the egg mixed in and you put a little bit of water in there, you want to take the whisk out. So clean your whisk because you want that egg in there. So go ahead and use your finger and clean that whisk off because you need all that egg to make the product, okay? Yep, you can get more flour in there and we're going to keep pouring water to it once we get all the egg, the whisk. Y'all got it? Did, did you need gloves, babe? No. Okay. Okay. No, you're not, you're not whisking after. You wanna make sure you clean all that egg off that whisk. Okay? Yep, you can pour all the water in there. All the water. Let's pour all that water. You, that, that's water, okay. No, nope. All you need is that, ugh, that's it. That was a nice, nice measure. Okay, is it starting to come together? You wanna to start kinda of bringing it together with your hands. You should be, there should be no whisk in the bowl at this point. We want to kind of start putting our hands in there and getting it kind of together. We want to kind of be. Okay. If you guys need some more water, um, yep, can you pour some more water in here? Nope, just take the bottle and pour it around. Yep. Hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, how's everybody looking? It look like we put it together. It look like it's coming together as the dough. You need some more water? Yeah, they need more water. Yeah, it's a little flour is coming around. I have like a seeding amount without using a bowl. I have water escaping from me. Yeah, you can get more water if you need it. You might need some. Let me see. That's all you got together? I'm okay, yeah, you're gonna need some more water. Let's get that on there. Now everybody got their bench cutter, bench scraper. Alright. Now we wanna kinda cut it in half. Cut it in half. Okay? Then take that half, sit it on the side. All right, let's hold them up. Let's see what we look like as a half. All right, we might need to cut them again. Yep, let's cut it again. Cut it, nope, cut it the other way. Yep, here we go. So everybody should have like a nice hand size piece, okay? We wanna take that, roll it on the table. Yeah, let's get the flour out, yeah. Let's slap it up, spread it out. You wanna kinda of thin it out. Let's thin it out, yeah. Yep. Yeah. You guys got it? Yep, yep, yep. Thinning it out, thinning it out. So now at this point, we wanna start using our rolling pin. Some of you guys got the flour on the table. Uh -uh, hold up, hold up, before we start rolling. Let's go ahead and uh, baste the pin with a little bit of the flour. Okay, just a little bit. Just like if you tap it on your hand, just kind of rub it on the pin, okay? Yep, you got it. Yeah. Yep, okay. Then you wanna just kinda go, go right on the dough, okay? Start up and down. Up and down, up and down. 
All right, and then you want to flip it over. Let's do it up and down. Okay, flip it. You want to keep flipping it until you get it nice and thin. Keep going up and down. If it's better for you to go side by side. A little bit more flour, that's fine. Thin it, thin it out. Okay. You got it, we're rolling it out. Everybody's looking good. Now you want it thin, okay? You wanna to try to get it as thin as possible. You want it about an eighth inch thick. Yeah, so. I guess you guys can kind of start cutting it. You want to kind of start squaring it off. Huh? Um, well, basically you want to start squaring it off first. And once you square it off, you will know what you want to make from there. All right, we kind of got it from there. Now, I'm going to kind of show you with your bench scraper, you can just take it and you can go as thin as, you can make it as thin as possible. We can make a fettuccine a little bit bigger. We can do like a porta, porta now it's a little bit bigger and a little wider. Also from there, I have these nice little cutters if you guys wanna kinda cut it that way. I don't know if you guys wanna get pretty a little fancy with that. I don't know. Okay. Okay. We wanna do that. So, okay. All right, so now, at this point, kind of have to follow directions, all right? You can wing it later, okay? So, you want to start off with making sure that you have your tablespoons, all right? Let's look at this in this big one. Table, teaspoon, half a teaspoon, fourth a teaspoon, okay? All right, so the first one we want to use, we're going to use the big one. The big spoon. Uh oh, something falling. Man down. Good over there? Yeah, we're good. Alrighty. Can you clean that station from the take their bowls? Okay, we want to take that and take a, two of the red wines. Let's do two of those. Put it right in that bowl. Two tablespoons right in the bowl. Okay. We want to take up our vinegar. Let's take one vinegar. One tablespoon of vinegar. Yep, one tablespoon of vinegar. You guys just made. You got it? You got it? You ready? You want to know what you made? Prayer wine vinegar. I know. <laughs> Look at y'all, y'all thought it was something big. I love it. No, okay, so we wanna go next. We want to take our teaspoon, which is that next spoon, and you wanna put mustard right in it. Everybody got their mustard? All right, I'm sorry? Yeah, I don't wanna look like peanut butter. <laughs> don't taste like it at all. Yeah, let's stick that right in there, okay? We want to take, yeah, I know, get a little messy, guys. We want to take that next spoon, which should be the half, the half teaspoon, and we want to put garlic in it. 
<laughs> if you're feeling funky, you can put two in there. Where's that? Let's look. Get it here. This, this is what I need. That. <laughs> All right. Let's start taking our seasonings. Let's start with that Italian seasoning, that little blend of seasoning. You might want to smell it because I know sometimes it might look like a little bit of pepper in here. I don't know if you guys are bad as mine. Okay? We're gonna just, you know, go, ooh wee. Yeah, uh-uh, I didn't hear it, I didn't hear it. Just, you wanna take a nice pinch? A nice pinch? We're gonna go in and say, ooh wee. Ooh wee. Yep. The Italian seasoning, that's pepper. All right. And then we want to take the pepper and just go, mm. Just a pinch, you go, mm. All right? For our health conscious people, we about to take the salt. I know we may like, oh, we don't want salt, but we need it. That's what adds flavor, and we like flavor, right? Yes. Yes, we like flavor? Yes. Oh, I'm just saying, if you don't like flavor in your food, y'all can go today, I'll figure it out how we can work it out. All right, take a little bit of that salt and just sprinkle it in. Y'all know how to do the little salt guy? We're not gonna do it today because we have salt everywhere. Yeah, just a little bit. All righty. Now, this is where we're gonna get in with that honey. Y'all got that honey? Everybody got their honey? All right, we wanna take it. Actually, you can kind of pretty much pour you guys in. You don't have to measure it. No, just as sweet as you think you will want it. Okay. Yeah, you can. Also, just a little fun fact I'm about to have while we're gonna start whisking. Ian, everybody got their whisk? Everybody got their whisk? But don't look at my whisk, my whisk is a spoon. Everybody have their whisk? Everybody got that oil? Okay. Oil, let's pour that oil right in. All in, go all in. It's not poker, we are safe with this one. Nope, the cup, and the cup. Let's take it, let's go all in. Let's get whisking. Let's get whisking, let's stir it all up. Yeah. All right, so just to let you know that the honey is made here. I'm gonna let Thomas kind of give you a little sneak peek on that. Yeah, because he's responsible for this, so let him tell you how this works. Thomas, 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 Thomas. Okay, don't do it, his head'll get big. All right, everybody got one? Everybody got chicken, shrimp, steak? Yes? All right, let's go ahead and take that steak first. We wanna pull it out, let's put it in that nice little bowl. Okay. Yep. Okay. Oh, what is this? Now you want to season it. We can take a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Salt, pepper. Now you can do it. Okay, I'll see you. We could put a little bit of that Obey, you know, that little red color one. That's just how you feeling. Yes, yeah, it's just, Obey is like a Cajun seasoning. You know, add a little mm to it. I'm all about the mm. I'm all about adding flavor. Mmm. Mmm. That's it. <laughs> all right. Everybody got it going on over there? Let's, let's kind of mix it around. Let's kind of get it all nice and flavored because everybody like their whole steak flavor, not just one little piece, right? Yeah. Let's make sure we got it coated. Okay. Now that we got it all coated, you sure you got enough seasoning and stuff on there for you guys? Let's put that, you can add more if you want. We're gonna put it right back into that bowl and sit it to the side. You need What's up world? 
You tuned in to K-O-D-E yeah, yeah. Red Radio That's right, Cold Red Radio And my phone been ringing off the hook For this new track by Nikazi It's called yeah. High Stuff Coming straight to your ears Let's go The finest thing that you ever seen With a nice hairdo and a pair of jeans a smile that glows just like a sunbeam Looking fresh out of dream or a movie scene Nature, baby, my evergreen Said you need a little help Tryna blow off steam Well baby I don't wanna be obscene But I love to be your sex machine Cause you're hot stuff Gotta give it to me baby I don't wanna make it take it Hot stuff All my vision's getting hazy I can only see you naked Hot stuff Now you better quit your playing Get you, get you, gotta chase you Hot stuff Hit it then I quit it Yeah I play it like a ukulele is it looking good so far, guys? Yes, sir. All right. Yep. You want to go ahead and do the next one? It's the shrimp. Let's put the shallot. Ooh. Y'all hear that sound? Do we hear that sound? All right. Do we have that? It should be a spatula. Let's take that. And you can use that to move it around, unless you guys like to use y'all wrist powers so and we can shake it, shake it, shake it. All right? Yep. Keep moving it around. You want to keep it moving, keep it moving. All right? Next, you want to add the mushrooms. You don't have to have them. He gave me another one. All right, can we open up that door? All right, so we got that in? Yep. All right, now we can add some of the spinach, pour in the mushrooms, let's pour in the spinach. All of it? All of it. You know how, basil, not yet. I don't eat mushrooms, but oh well. Yep. Um, so everybody, your handle might be hot. This is where you might want to take your, your towel, AKA our side towel, and shake it up. You don't have to toss it. You can actually just use the. All right. Now, I believe in flavoring at each step. So you want to take a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Again, if you're feeling a little spicy, we can add some of that obey. I want to use that towel. All right, everybody got it going down. Everybody's going down. All right. Now, I like that this time we're going to add some of that garlic. All right. Now, we can go across to our recipe and we can add just a little half a tablespoon. Okay. But if you're a garlic lover like me, we're going to put some garlic in there, okay? All right, we want to put some garlic in there. All right. Oh yeah, I'm hearing the cooking now, baby. All right, now let's add just a few of those tomatoes in there. I'm not making a salad, I'm sorry. Uh, not all of them, just a few. All right. So everybody got all their vegetables in? Yep. So right now, we should have our shallots, we should have our garlic, we should have our spinach, we should have our tomatoes, our mushrooms, for those the ones who eat the mushrooms, okay? Now, I have broccoli at your station. If you like broccoli, we can add that in too. We want to do that now. 
All right. Now, while the one person is getting the broccoli, let's get the other person to get the cream. Cream. It should be a white, it's like a milky substance in the back, which is something I don't have. Can you please give me a cream? Yep, pour the cream in. All of it. All right. Where's my white wine? Here's my white wine. You can pass it here. Just give it here. Just give it here. All right. Now, once we get that heavy cream in, let's add that white wine, baby. All of it. I mean, unless you want to hold back, we're only here to drink, all right? Okay. We got it together, we got it coming together. So at this point, everybody should have like a little piece of butter inside of that. We want to add butter to that too. Ooh. All the butter. Yeah. Okay. I said it should be some. I know I don't want any. Okay. Now, everybody has this little styrofoam cup, and it's like, what is this other leafy stuff inside of this cup? This is the fresh basil. Okay, before you stick it in, like I don't know, have you, are you all familiar with basil? Yeah, you like how it smells? Yeah, you like how it tastes? We're just gonna go ahead and add it in. A few leaves to see how much you actually like it. Yeah, just stick it in. Yeah, you can eat it. It's, this one you can actually eat. We wanna get it. You can, just, just a few leaves. You can add all of it, but you might wanna add a little bit later, so you might wanna. We want a nice little simmer going on. If you don't have a simmer going on, you can go ahead and turn up your heat. Uh, Jay, pass me the cream. Nope. I'm gonna give you some more because you got a lot of broccoli going on over here. Okay. Turn it up. Turn it up. Up. Yep. Yep. Let's turn you up some. Oh yeah, you got a nice simmer going on. Ooh, I like the color of it, yep. Got to heat up, heat up. Simmer yep. nice. Yep, right let's there. get it simmer. Yep, let's get it simmer. See that? All right. Oh yeah, we got it going. Yep. All right. Everybody got their nice simmering? The heat all the way up. All right, all the way up. All right. Now, now that we have that together. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Now, right now, while it's still simmering, for everybody who has shrimp, we wanna go ahead and add that in. Yep, go ahead and add the shrimp right in. Yep. And also at this point, we wanna go ahead and flavor some more, okay? So we wanna add some of that Italian seasoning. All right. For everybody who's measuring, we're gonna go ahead and use ooh, a tablespoon. Nope, I'm sorry, a teaspoon. A teaspoon of the Italian seasoning, which is that mixed blend that I kind of put together here. Right? 
Everybody got it in? Just to let y'all know, this stuff is smelling wonderful, you guys. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, you're welcome. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, oh my God, this stuff is smelling great. Yep, it should be bubbling. You want it to kind of... All right. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna kind of move this out your way. Move this out your way. You didn't want that much garlic in yours? All right, everybody's little skillet is on their stove. Yes, sir. Everybody got oil in their little skillet. Yes, sir. All right, this is the time we're gonna start cooking our steak and chicken. Yes, sir. So since everybody's pan is all nice and hot with the oil in it, we want to go ahead and toss that chicken right on in. Oh yeah, somebody's cooking over here. That's what I'm talking about. I smell it going. Go ahead, don't be afraid. There we go, there we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Take mine, trade them. All right. Now you wanna use, start using your tongs. Everybody got their tongs? Yeah. You wanna, Kind of make sure they flipped over, cooking on both sides. You wanna, you wanna cook it all? All right. All right. Everybody's coming along there? How's everything coming? It smells great, you guys. Smells great. All right. All right, did they need my feel? Okay. All right, how's it coming? Is it looking like it's close to done? Yeah. Yeah? Let's go ahead and get it together. That's what I said, take mine. Because I'm walking away from it, so take mine. Take mine. You take one, you take theirs and switch it over. Ready? All right. Everybody's coming along, everything looks pretty much cooked. Yeah. All right. Everything look all nice and white and pale for you guys. All right, little brown is good. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, you looking good. You can go ahead and add all that right into the skillet. Ooh, pretty, a lot of caramelization. All her. All her? All her. Well, all her, we need to put all that in the sauce. All right. Yep, and then you go ahead and put a little bit of oil, and let's start with the steak. Right in here first? Right. We don't have any of the tweezers. You don't have any of the tweezers? Tongs. 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 Okay, I'm like, I don't have tweezers? Yeah, whatever. Okay. Can you look in there to get some tweezers? Oh, you got me saying tweezers. Can you look in there to get some tongs? All right. Oh, yeah, you good. Yep. Let's get that. Now, you're going to go ahead and cheat. You got it hot. You want to make sure it's a little hot so you okay. can, once it's hot, it can do. You can, nope, you can put it right, just sit it right on the side of it. Yep. You want to add that straight to the sauce. Ooh, pretty. Let's add that straight to the sauce. I'm coming over for dinner tomorrow, man. You cooking like this, I mean, we want to add that right into the sauce. I love the color. All right? Pretty. Look like we put some flavor on there, some seasoning. Great job. We'll get it. You got it. <laughs> now we getting it. I'm sorry? She's an expert. She's the expert. Well, I'm, the, I'm the amateur. <laughs> Look at you. You got it. You know the good thing about this? If you mess up with the coloring, it's fine because it's going into a cream sauce. They're going to eat it down the same way. So it's going to be good. So go ahead. Once you feel like it's really done, yeah, those pieces are pretty done. I think maybe this, this one right here is a little pink. I said you want to take these two pieces and let it sit in there for a minute. Everything else you could probably pull and put in your sauce. Oh yeah, guys, look at that brownie. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Go ahead and add it straight into your sauce. All right. Ooh, I like the sizzle and the bubble over here. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and give it a few more minutes and then we're gonna add it right into the sauce. Okay. Mow it, flip it for me. Let me see the other side. Go ahead and add it right into the sauce. You good. Let me bow down. Go ahead and put it right in the sauce. Put it right in the sauce, add a little bit more oil, put your steak right in. Everybody got their steak going? You got yours? That's right, that's right. Yep, put the steak in. Yep, yep, put oil in there. All right. if I can get everybody's attention. Um, I brought everybody up just for we to do a, uh, like a pretty much a roll call and pretty much I really wanted to basically thank my help and let them know that I didn't do this by myself, that it always takes a team to make anything great. So um, I want to start by first introducing everybody and you know, just thanking them. So I wanna say, this is my best friend through thick and thin from two strokes and everything, she's been by my side. My best friend, Jay. Jay. <laughs> Who is anybody without their mommy? That's my mother, Constance. My man. Right? <laughs> my brother who's been my arms, my legs, and my backbone, Dave. <laughs> Antonius, who's been my encouragement corner, who's always like, you go girl, you got it. <laughs> This is Antonia. You can catch him here when he works, okay? He can give y'all some of that love. I got Thomas over here, who's been, we've been co-workers for years. We've been back and forth. Oh man, I don't know what else to say about you, but I thank you for your help. <laughs> this, this, this is Thomas, he's a chef. I wanna thank Chef Lorene. She makes all of the desserts for always being there, supporting, that's what we need. And somebody else special that I was able to do this event with is Thomas. All right. The person who gave you your wonderful tour, everything. Another person who helped make this thing possible. But also, I also tried to give everybody a gift just because all of you guys make this possible too. Okay? So definitely. I wanted to give a special thanks to Anthony because you were the one who bought the most tickets and that means you helped me make my dream come true. So. Thank, you, Thank you, yes. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> I told you you were special. <laughs> okay. All right. And I do not want to say or do not ever want to forget somebody who made this whole lighting stage and filming possible. So soon we'll be putting out a TV show and making this a real deal. One and only Brian, AKA DJ Cole Red. I thank you so much. Thank you. And like I said, 
I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Hopefully you guys will get my emails and my texts if you want to leave your information. And we can hopefully do this again, okay? Absolutely. Alrighty, so thank you. All righty.